So I heard you wanted to understand how the inner workings of a planetary BMX free coaster hub actually work. We've come to the right place because today I'm going to be using this brand new Alienation Venus free coaster hub to show you how the internals of these hubs actually work and allow you to have a free coaster that is not only a cassette at the same time, but is also a free coaster that you don't have to disengage for it to coast and you also don't have to re-engage it for it to be a cassette while you're moving forward. If none of that makes any sense to you, check out the playlist in one of these corners on the screen where I have very in-depth videos explaining exactly how that works and showing you very in-depth. So, in order to explain this, we need to take this thing apart. I will say this Alienation Venus Free Coaster Hub is available now at most BMX mail orders as well as local bike shops that work with J&B importers. That being said, I helped design this free coaster as well as give it its name, and I'm so excited for that. So we're going to take off the pop-and-go hub guard that just goes onto the hardware on both sides. We're taking the drive side off so that we can get to the internals and show you guys how they work. So we're taking off the drive side jam nut right now. So let's take our driver off here, and I'll show you the driver first. What we're looking at with the driver is a driver with three paws, and if you look closely here, you can see that they spring downward. The springs on these things pull it downward, and that is very important with how this hub works. So let's take a look on the inside of the hub here. You see that there's this, this piece with three different looking kind of wedge pieces. That's what they call them. But if we spin this hub independently of the axle, you'll see that that thing rotates. That's very interesting. Now, I'm holding this upside down, so whenever I rotate it the correct way, it looks wrong here, so I'm gonna rotate it the other way just for the sake of understanding. But if you can imagine, these paws are springing downward, meaning that they're trying to stay closed. When we rotate this hub, it's spinning that wedge piece and you can see the ramp there, which is this piece right here. You can see there's a ramp that kind of goes upward. Now it looks like the ramp. That ramp comes in contact with that paw and lifts it up. So you might be wondering now, what happens when that wedge lifts the paw all the way up and gets to the end of where it can travel? What happens there? And to explain that and show you, I'm going to use this Allen wrench to hopefully hold things in place as we rotate this hub. So we're rotating the hub, and as you can see, the Allen is holding that wedge piece in place, but the hub is still rotating. And what that means is that once it lifts that pull up, this piece stops moving. The wedge piece stops moving even though the hub is moving. And that is how the driver can stay in place and be a cassette while it's moving forward. And I hope that that helps explain to you how this hub is a cassette while it's moving forward, but what about the free coaster while moving backward part? I said previously that you don't have to disengage this hub, and what I mean by that is that it's the exact same concept as moving forward and lifting the paws, but in reverse. So as soon as this hub goes from rotating forward to rotating backward, let's go up and explain what happens. So we're in cassette mode and these paws are lifted by all three of these wedges. The hub is moving forward, but this is staying in place as we've already explained. So when the hub is moving forward, it's going one direction and I'll show you here what happens when you go backwards. Boom. This wedge system immediately goes moving forward, moving backwards, it rotates in the opposite direction. So you can imagine that if these paws were being lifted by that triangle piece, which was being pushed into them, the second that the, the wheel and the hub starts rotating backwards and it spins the opposite direction, this is exactly what happens to all three paws. Boom. And to explain this even further, I'm going to go ahead right now and take apart the clutch system just to show you guys exactly what I'm saying visually. All right, so what we're looking at right now is the wedge piece that I was talking about with the three wedges and ramps on it. You can get a much closer look at how this works. When the hub is rotating, you can see right here that when it rotates into the paws, it lifts them up. And we've already demonstrated how this thing stays in place and makes this thing a cassette while it's moving forward. 
So we just explained that it's the opposite when it's moving backwards. And as soon as the hub rotates backwards, this is what happens. And this is why I just explained. Boom. Pause, drop. Obviously, it's much better than that and more consistent than this, than what I'm explaining. But right here, you can see how this works. Moving forward, it's pushed into the paws, lifting them. As soon as it moves backwards, boom, they drop. And this thing is allowed to be a free coaster. So I hope that this now helps you understand fully the way that this works on the inside. Now, when it comes to this planetary clutch system, this utilizes planetary gearing, and I'm not even going to pretend like I understand how exactly that works. I'll just say that there is a gear on the inside, which we've already seen, this gear, then there is four planetary gears going around it, and then on the inside of this outer piece, there is another gear similar to this one, but facing inward. And basically that allows this internal and external part to rotate independently of each other. And some combination of those things, as well as the rest of this, allows it to move it forward like that, how I explained, with the paws to be accept. And then as soon as it goes backwards, it brings it back down to be a free coaster. And real quick for anybody who's been following the 2022 BMX bike build series that I've uploaded a couple episodes of already, this is part of it. That's why I was saying that there's something coming very soon and kind of looked at the rear end of the bike. This hub is that something. I'm going to be lacing this up to a vandal rim and it is going on the 2022 BMX bike build. I've got another episode, maybe two, that's gonna come out before that happens. I'm waiting on something with this, but I'm super stoked that this thing is going on to that front brake bike and I know it's going to look good on there and I hope you're as excited as I am about it. So that's my somewhat basic overview and explanation on how the inner workings of these planetary BMX free coaster hubs actually work. As I said before, this brand new Alienation Venus hub in polished, which is my signature color or black, is available at BMX mail orders as well as local bike shops that work with J&B importers. So pick one of these up. They're available right now. You can buy them. Thank you to Alienation for involving me in this process as much as they have. Naming it, helping design it was just, it was a dream and I'm so grateful for it. So I'd be very grateful to all of you guys who might consider picking one of these up and sending me pictures of it on your bike. That is going to be so amazing and it's gonna be awesome to see them out in the wild. So that being said, I hope that you guys learned something from this. I hope that it helped you. And if it did, or do you have any questions, let me know in the comments down below. And I hope that you enjoyed it enough that if you're new here or you haven't yet, you'll consider hitting that subscribe button while you're down there. And we'll see you tomorrow for another one. Thank you for watching.